This is Kevin Cassius for IFL TV. We're in Manchester here at the Funds for your Arena for Frotch versus Groves fighting tonight. Also, Scott Quigg defending this belt, the WBA world title. It's devastating second round performance. Talk me through it. Uh, beforehand, I was, I was fired up. I wanted to go out there and make a statement and I wanted to fight. That was what I'd come. I thought I knew he was aggressive. I knew he'd come forward, and I thought normally you go over by the rules. Someone wants to fight, you box him. If they want to box you, you fight him. But I knew this kid wanted to come up fight, and I thought he's he can have one. I was fighting. That's the most, most I've been fired up for a long time, and I went in. I wanted to hurt him, and then I threw every shot with intent, and you know I enjoyed it in the. Talk to me about the shot that actually took him out in the end. Well, the the, the first shot, the, the uppercut that I caught him with. I was throwing it in the change rooms beforehand because I knew when I got up close, he dropped down. And I'm surprised he got up from the first one because I, I ate him right on the bottom and he fell forward. I thought he's not getting up and I thought he did. So, you know, he, he's a tough boy. And then the, the, the right hand that I caught him with that chopped him down and fell. You know they're not getting up when they fall forward. And, you know, I got a... Sounds a bit. I got I got a buzz out of it, like the way you know it felt and that. So I just wanted to go out there and, like I say, have a fight and they enjoyed it. I think the crowd got me revved up and it was good. Um, listen, you'll just fight who's put in front of you. Yeah. That's not necessarily your job to for opponents and that. But I'm sure that you want to fight the best in the division. Oh, that's fucking ruined our interview. <laughs> Wanker Gallagher. Um, I'm sure you want to fight the best in the division, yeah. so I'm sure, like, come next year, you just, you know, you want to pick your wits against, like I said, the, the top people Listen, in that way. I'll fight whoever's put in front of me, and, you know, you carry on interviewing this. that was, um, I wanted to. Right, Joe. Yeah, son, mate. Just, just walk just in. After a picture, two seconds. Yeah. <laughs> Are you winding me out? Let's, let's keep running it, keep running it, keep running it. This is still the interview, my God. Gallagher's an absolute liberty taker. Yeah, where, hey, where's his central area belt? Go back. Yeah, for the southern and north central area title. Still in the middle. I just love my first stop. He's carrying like a Keep clicking. Where's your belt, Cardo? Oh. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. Right, I'm getting back to the interview. Actually, Joe, Joe. Thank you. Joe. Get in, because we haven't really. Hi, mate. Oh, that's never happened to me in an interview before. You just took him away. To well, have yeah, everyone wants to get out to watch Fox Groves, don't they? Yeah, we've, got, we've, got twen we've got 25 moment, minutes there, son. Moment, there's only been five world champions in over how many hundreds of years. So that moment, there didn't many if I have five, four fight at the MEN, all win. So I just wanted that picture that moment. You've got to catch the moment, Cole. You've got to catch the, catch the moment, indeed. Um, <laughs> Paul Smith Senior gave me them. Um, Please with that second round. Brilliant, that's what I wanted from him tonight. I said to him before he go out there, listen, we've done the hard work here 12 months ago against Rendell Monroe and Salinas in London. Just go out, enjoy yourself and do what you do best. And that's what he did. If you like a cage, I know it's the best camp he's had. That's the best he looked. And the thing with Scott Quick, the three fights, obviously, with Rendell Monroe, Salinas and tonight, three different styles. People criticised him last time for starting, starting too slow. But you can't do that at world-class level, do you understand? And uh, um, the style and the tactics that you've seen a different Scott Quigg in all three fights. And that's what world champions do. They adapt and training and they apply in the fight and that's what he did tonight he put a world-class performance in show world-class power and before 20,000 Mancunians tonight agree with all that Scott yeah I agree with that if not you'd throw me out the gym on well, obviously obviously <laughs> no um, go on no carry on no it's like you said three different styles three different performances you know with Mumro different style Salinas had to be more clever smarter and today I knew this kid wanted to fight but I know he left openings and I just wanted to go out there and, like I said, let some bombs go. 
Next year could be a big year for him. He's got to look for them big fights now, Joe, at some Sky point. Limit. I think everyone is world champion now. Everyone recognises him as a bona fide world champion. He's got to go out there. We've got to go and watch Kiko Martinez in December. Hopefully try and get that fight. If not, we've got a, an interim as a mandatory to do with, deal with. But I'd love to get Kiko. Um, if not, like I say, we get the mandatory and then possibly Kiko, Mathubli. And then I'm looking like a Santa Cruz fight. I'd, I'd love Martinez, him and Santa Cruz to have a little unification series going on and just leave Rigondo for a little while. Um, but just have a great uh, tear up the three of us and uh, that'd be brilliant next year at the MGM Las Vegas in Santa Cruz it'll be a great fight well listen Scott I'm going to talk to Joe about his other fighters so you don't have to stand there like a plum and listen to that you're the one who looks like a plum with a oh, coloured wow. jumper on just drop yourself in I do got me there got me there thanks Scott Thank you, Sandy. Cheers, thank you, mate. I was worried yesterday, you know that, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, yeah. Well, no, Big up, Sandy. Yeah. I just congratulated him on a great night. It's a great achievement, what he's done tonight. You know, so... Cheers, thank you, Sandy. Thank you very much, Sandy. Thank you, thank you. I'll give you the money in a minute, Sandy. <coughs> this is all rolling into one interview, brother. We're not even going to cut it. Okay. Right, let's talk, let's talk, let's talk. Scotty Cardle uh, against uh, Christoph Zott. Great performance, yep. really happy. That kid had uh, lost a split decision to uh, Bruno Z Zamora, who's fighting Kevin Mitchell next. Um, and Scotty didn't put a foot wrong, do you know what I mean? He boxed with good jabs, good right hands, and he beat the kid to a pulp in the end. Do you know what I mean? I was just really, really happy. And great six rounds. Not a cut on him for a change. Usually, like you're over there filming him now, getting stitched. But just a great night, just a great buzz. There's a great momentum, a great buzz in the gym. And I think Scott Cardle was a reflection on that tonight. And whatever the kid brought, he had an answer to. Swifty Smith, again, claiming another title, the WBC international title. He's on the route now for next year to getting a shot. Listen, it's been a, a, an up and down few months for Stephen Smith. It was only a couple of weeks ago he was suspended um, and that would break a lot of fighters mentally. But I told him to stay in the gym, stay focused. Um, and that's what he did do. He won the WBC international belt tonight now against a very good fighter who... Um, Gave uh, the number three, Sakudi, a really good, tough fight uh, recently. So that was a, a great performance by Stephen. That WBC belt, that means that's our 12th belt in uh, 12 months. So that's a, a, a fantastic achievement by anyone's accounts. And I'm really proud of all my fighters. But Stephen now, listen, he's got the 90 days now to fight the number three in the WBC. And you've seen the fantastic job Eddie's done with Brian Rose there. John Stan getting a world title. And I'm sure he'll deliver for Stephen Smith. And Stephen's at a right age, 28, to crack on now. He, he needed to move on from the domestic scene. He, he's a quality amateur. A Commonwealth Games gold medalist, ABA champion, two-time British champion. He really needs to push on at 28 now and test himself at world level. Okay, and just finally, Anthony Quala, uh, Steve Foster Jr. retiring at the end of the sixth round, didn't see the seventh round. Assess for me his performance tonight, Joe. Listen, it was a really hard fight that for me. Obviously, I made my debut with Steve Foster Jr. We had our debut here together, and it was weird being across the ring from him tonight. I didn't really want the fight, but I'm in the Anthony Crawler business at the moment, and Million Dollar Crawler looked a million dollars tonight. He didn't put a foot wrong. I thought his jab was fantastic, and his shot selection to the body was fantastic as well. It's been a fantastic year for Anthony Crawler. Obviously, he got the, got the, got it over Derry, beat Gavin Reese, became a proud dad, got a new house and it's boxed in front of 20,000. Life don't get better. That kid is definitely living the dream at the moment. He's a Mancunian and everyone was proud of him there tonight. And like you say, it was a punch perfect performance from him tonight and he's cemented his status as the number two lightweight in the country. Ricky Burns was ringside and I think Crawler with his win after Gavin Reese proves he is the number two in the country. You've got Kevin Mitchell back in the scene now, John Murray back in the scene. Some great fights to have between them. Obviously there's Derry Matthews still going and if them two, three, what I keep fighting amongst themselves, but I think uh, Crawler's ready now to step up to world level now. He's hung around that British scene. He hang, tried to hang around for the British belt tonight. Hasn't happened, and we really need to push on for Crawler. And listen, who's not to say we're back here in the summer with Crawler for a world title? He's ready. The kid's ready. All right, Joe, got 10 minutes to uh, Frosham Grove, so I'm yeah, sure really we all want to go and see it. So um, thank you very much for talking to IFL TV. It's good no, spending the week with you again. No problem. Thank you. You've done a fantastic job, and thanks for all, all the support during uh, the week, the months, the years, and everything else. And it was a huge, proud moment, that, for me today. Um, Phil Martin, who was my mentor at Moss Side, he passed away in uh, 1994, nearly 20 years ago. He won three, he had four British champions at the time, a European champion in Kyle Thompson, and he just he, had, he passed away at the age of 44 the same age as I am now and he never got the chance to live and get his world title and I just felt um, uh, I did that tonight for him so alright it's good of you to say alright this is Coogan Cassius with Joe Gallagher and the rest of Team Gallagher here in uh, Manchester Funds for your arena for IFL TV thank you very much